What's up guys, Collector B here. We are back and we have lots of toys. Man, was this a great week? Was it a great week? Oh, a swell week. Swell week. The only bad thing is all my toys are just falling lately. I got bodies everywhere, so big bummer. But man, did we get some finds. We got some mail calls. We found some stuff at the store and we are super excited. So first of all, <clears throat> first of all, if you guys are new, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And for all of you who keep coming back, you are amazing. So let's just get into it today because we got a lot of stuff to open and it's going to be a longer video. So as you can see, it's mostly DC, mostly McFarlane. He is killing my bank account. And, you know, Comic-Con was this last, well, is still going on right now, San Diego Comic-Con. A lot of new stuff is dropping. Um, and McFarlane just says, you know what, I'm just going to just keep dropping stuff the whole time and not really do a ton of reveals. But, whew, some really cool stuff coming out. So, definitely a lot of Turtles, um, a lot of Mezco, a lot, just ugh, too much stuff to even think about. Marvel Legends, like crazy. So, San Diego Comic-Con, awesome. Um, but let's go ahead and just start. So, we'll do the pop first. Okay, so a lot of this we found. This is really cool, by the way. Um, a lot of this we found in the store. Like I said, we did get some stuff in the mail. But we went to Target, and we found another Demon Slayer thing. Obviously, like I told you guys in my last couple of videos, I am obsessed right now with Demon Slayer. So, super, super cool. I did not know that this was even a thing we walk in to target and boom there it is the tanjiro demon slayer pop with t-shirt so really cool they didn't have my size so we got a 2x so it's gonna be pretty big but that's okay so i did want to pop this open and actually look at the pop and i really really like these pop boxes that they do oh another score we got this week that we're not showing we got this but the Hobgoblin t-shirt one, which I already have, we scored it for what? 50, 50 cents. cents. It was in the middle of an aisle, so I grabbed it, wife went to scan it, and it didn't come up in the system. So we go up to self-checkout, doesn't come up in the system, lady gave it to us for 50 cents. So super cool. A um, lot of stuff on clearance right now, so definitely go check your targets. But these are really cool. I love these. I just, the boxes look really cool, and then you pop them open. And you get the shirt and the pop, which is oh, I had no awesome. idea. I know, right? They don't do a good job of advertising, <laughs> huh? So, let's pop it open. And honestly, I will tell you this. The Funko shirts are, so are comfy. some of the softest, comfiest shirts I have ever got. So, that's why I really like these. So, I don't care that it's going to be big. There. Ooh, that's cool. It is Tanjiro as the pop. So pretty big shirt. Again, this is a 2X, so you can see the kind of the size. It's going to be a blanket for me. Um, so really cool there. So that was a cool find. <clears throat> and again, this is at Target. And then we get the Tanjiro pop, who is apparently a Target exclusive, but he looks exactly like the other one I have that doesn't have the Target exclusive on it. So I don't know exactly the differences. I guess this one, he is battle damaged. Yeah, the other I don't one think the other one is, but again, he's battle damaged into two pack as well. So really cool. We're not going to pop this open. Um, as you can see, the back is the other Demon Slayer pop. So I believe this just came out. I haven't seen, I've seen other people find it, but I haven't seen it a lot. So really cool if you're looking for a Demon Slayer pop. Go check it out because the shirt is super comfy. So, really cool. Oh, the next stuff we have, it's all DC. And, wow, the amount of DC stuff that came in this week is mind-blowing. So, super cool. Um, we're going to start with this guy, though. So, these are the new DC Direct Page Punchers. Now, they do have Page Punchers as well that are really small. Um... I don't know what size they are. I think they're like three inch. I don't really like those, but they do come with a comic and they come with a little figure. Obviously it's not as articulated as these, but these are the bigger ones that just came out and they are part of the Black Adam wave, I guess. So it is Batman, Constantine, Superman, and Black Adam. So really cool. We did find this guy at Walmart today and we actually found the whole wave at Walmart today. It looks like there's two Supermans and Batmans per case. 
and then Black Adam and Constantine are single. So, um, I, these are cool. I'm, I'm curious how this Batman's gonna be. Uh, what's weird though, I believe the comics are exactly the same, which the wife kind of said, like, why didn't they do like a four part series comic? So you did want to buy all of them. And maybe it is. I honestly don't know. I think they're all the same. They look all the same. Um, the cool thing about this as well is they do have a black and white version of this guy. And I believe I did just see that they're doing a black and white version of Black Adam. Those are Target exclusives. We actually did find that, but uh, it's actually not going to be on this video right now. So let's pop it open and let's see what this is about. So it's kind of weird. Um, there's the box. This whole background comes out. It's kind of weird because you pull this out and like the comic is just like this. So you may get a pretty messed up comic. What is interesting is they do give you the stand still and they do give you the card, which is the comic. So let's pop this. So you're going to have four of the same card card and comic. I if you get them all. I think so. That's what we are going to find out That's here. Stupid. So um, I didn't really get this for the comic. I don't really care, but, you know, we'll take a look at it here. Oh, these are on the outside. Interesting. So a little different packaging than, like, the McFarlane. Meek. Meek Farland. Oh. Oh, my God. And you're going to have to be careful. Because <laughs> oh, there's tape on them. So, uh, yeah, I already messed that up, didn't I? Good thing we got more, huh? So, good thing it is the same comic. So... <laughs> Kind of interesting. Um, I think it's the same comic. We'll obviously find out once it we open up Constantine. Oh, these, there's just too much stuff. So the cards, though, are going to be different. I believe the front is going to be the exact same. But then you look at the back and it actually says Batman and shows Batman on the back. So I guess it's a little different. I wish they would have done like a totally different card. And okay, so the comic is Superman, Black Adam. Sure, a lot of Justice League people in this. Looks pretty cool. Nothing amazing. Um, I don't know exactly what this is from, so you guys will have to let me know. I don't read a lot of Black Adam. The art looks really good, though. Um, so we'll have to see if it is the exact same comic. But there's the back. And then obviously the front is the card. So, I mean, these are the same price as like a regular McFarland. So you do get a comic with it, which is okay, I guess. So uh, here is Batman out of the box. And he does come with a battering, but that's it. So we will see what we think. Uh, I did not grab Superman, and I did not grab Black Adam. I think the Superman, some people really like how he looks. I think his head is way too small for his body, and his fists are huge. So, interesting. And then Black Adam, I'm just not a huge fan of. So, there's the Batarang. I do like this Batarang. It's really nice looking, actually. <clears throat> Pretty solid Batarang for the Batman. So, oh. He is zip tied there. And he does have one back here. Oh my goodness. And his legs. Boom. Okay. Come on. I'm okay. I didn't cut that all the way. I thought I did. I hate, I hate the capes. They drive me nuts. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this already, but we will see. So here, I don't think he's gonna stand very well, and I don't feel like messing around with him because his boots have some tread on them. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a sec, guys. These ankles, we are using a stand today. God, he just does not want to. Okay, so there is Batman. So, uh, this Batman's okay. I don't think it's amazing. I do like it. Uh, there's a couple things I don't like, but it looks pretty good. Paint apps look great. Uh, 
Details are pretty decent and he stands okay on a stand. I'll show you kind of what I was talking about with his uh, feet, which was kind of going to make him a little hard to stand. There's his cape. Uh, I like the cape, but it's way too rubbery for me. Uh, the whole different flays, flays, uh, <laughs> the whole creases and stuff are really cool, um, but it is really rubbery. There is the back of him as well. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Uh, the one thing I do like is he comes with like a trigger hand or kind of like a throwing hand. So you can at least put the batarang in there or give him guns if you want to. So that is the page puncher Batman. And let's figure out his articulation here. So he's, he's pretty tight. Well, this arm's not as tight. I do like here that they have these shoulder pads, but they're like attached to the arm. So he can actually still get his arm all the way up. Um, he does bend pretty well there. Wrist joints are just a regular wrist joint. Nothing crazy. You can bend there. Um, this arm is a lot tighter, and I thought it was going to get stuck with the cape, but it doesn't. And again, there is that hand. Like I said, it's pretty much a trigger hand, and then he comes with the fist. Um, the belt actually looks really good. Mm -hmm. I really like the belt. I think that's really good. And the texture on his costume isn't bad. Uh, it's not amazing it's not bad his face i don't know how i feel about his face it looks a little small to me it's not bad though i actually do like it uh he does have the toe there but his boots do have the tread on the bottom so he is kind of hard to stand you'll have to kind of mess around with that um but he moves pretty well articulation's pretty good um a little bit of an ab crunch nothing crazy so this one isn't terrible i guess like for me the face sculpt is just kind of boring to me that it's not even like he's grimacing and it's not even like he's you know he's just kind of like eh. <laughs> yeah exactly i agree honey <laughs> you did that perfectly <laughs> um so that's i guess that's really my only complaint um the battering does let me see if i can get it to fit in there so it fits well in this hand, it just you gotta mess around with it. Um, it kind of looks pretty big for him as well. So there is the Batarang. Looks okay, it's nothing crazy. So this Batman's not bad. Again, I do like this a lot more than a lot of other Batmans, but the face to me, I guess, is just kind of bland. Like, or I guess like the wife said. <laughs> so, <laughs> but for a page puncher, not terrible uh so you guys will have to let me know if you guys pick that up because it's not bad and we will see like i said i probably won't be picking up superman or black adam so. he's supposed to be really pale that's the other thing too right he kind of looks vampire. like edward from twilight <laughs> i know he's well, he I, I don't know i don't know what it is with that face sculpt he almost looks zombie like it mm -hmm. the face sculpt itself i think looks good god stuff just keeps falling um finster, oh, finster. but uh it's just kind of bland i needed a different facial expression for sure so let's let's do this all right so we're gonna skip constantine first and we're gonna do boom batman duke thomas tales from the dark multiverse mcfarland so super excited this came in amazon i've seen a lot of people get this already but i'm actually pretty stoked i am not a fan of duke thomas first of all I will let you guys know that I'm not a fan at all, but this costume of his is fantastic. I really, really like it. And this thing is pretty big. It looks bigger in person to me. I've seen a lot of people get this, but I didn't think it was going to be this big. So this is kind of from uh, Death Metal. If you have read that, um, we'll go along with your Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman that kind of have the guitar and stuff like that as well. So you can make your own rock band. Woo! pretty cool where's eddie munson right yeah, yeah. r.i.p uh but <laughs> so here we go we will take him out i'm pretty excited to get this uh got it off amazon there is the stand and the card which the card is basically the back picture is kind of bland to me you can definitely tell that it is a figure now most of these you can but the, they just didn't do much with the picture um and there he is. He comes with that huge axe that is supposed to be like a guitar or a bass. Um, so kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of these. 
the like musical instruments as weapons but you know it's from the comic and if you read the comic i'm sure you're pretty excited about it um that is one thing as well i did want to say this the last time we did a video mcfarland's the reason why mcfarland is doing so well even when he puts out a ton of batman figures or you know gold label this gold label that is because he's doing figures from the comics that a lot of us have read which is great i've been waiting for some of these figures forever and it's huge i mean just doing batman who laughs um was just huge for me so to me that's why mcfarland is doing so well um so here is the guitar the guitar the guitar axe so that's kind of a bummer so i think the front looks really good i really really like all the details the coloring looks really nice but then what's kind of a bummer is then you go to the back and they just didn't do anything to it which I get it's the back of it, but, like, it's supposed to be an axe as well. So, you kind of want him like this. So, if you're doing it from this angle, you got nothing. But from this angle, you have the actual guitar part. So, it's not bad. I actually do like the accessory, but they could have done at least something to the back. I mean, this dude is pretty dope. And he's pretty heavy. pretty stiff though yeah this dude's cool though this dude is really really cool i am really in love with this costume can we get him to stand okay so there is duke thomas i really like it i really like the face i really like his gauntlets here the whole costume just looks really great only thing i'll say about the face here is kind of how they painted it almost looks like it's like the paint is rubbed off a little bit because it's not like i guess it's a matte finish right correct yeah so i i guess i'd want this just to pop a little bit more but it looks really really good um the symbol looks really good and his suit looks really good i really really like the arms they're awesome and i really really like the back of him the cape is great this whole piece here is really cool so you could like just hang him from there you know um he looks great. I really, really like it. I think they did a awesome job, and he's pretty beefy looking, which is nice. I do really like the symbol. I do really like the belt. It looks nice. I wish they would have done something more with the belt because it just looks like he has pockets, which is fine, but really cool. I like it. I love his shin guards. I love that they just kind of like all fold up like that. That's really cool, and then I don't know if I showed the back. But there is his back of him as well. And then you have like the top of his head as well. There is even marks on top. So I feel like these are going to bend pretty hard over time. Um, but man, he looks, he looks fantastic. So um, as far as articulation for him, he's got a good bend. He has a bicep swivel, which is super awesome. Um, and then his wrists are kind of the same. They are really, really stiff though. So they're a little bit different wrist joint. You got the whole turn there, and it's not just that peg. It's actual whole piece, um, but they do move well. His legs, you can tell, um, they definitely are pretty tight, but you got a nice movement there. The toe still does that, which is great. No thigh swivel, and he does not have an ab crunch, but he moves pretty well. And I feel like you should be able to get him... Oof, these knees are kind of rough, but I feel like you should be able to get him in a pretty good position to pose. Uh, he does come with one fist hand and one open hand, so you are very limited. You have to put this in this hand, which is kind of a bummer. I don't know if he's left-handed or not. Maybe he is. I would assume he is, since they gave him a left hand. And let's get this guitar in. kind of a pain there we go see so that's that's kind of my the biggest bummer to me i think is there's the axe guitar um so when it's in his left hand you know it's like that so i guess if you have it down here it looks pretty good but because there's nothing on the back of that you're kind of limited and because you don't have a different hand over here 
same thing. And even if you wanted to do it like behind his back here, same thing, you're just getting that. So you would pretty much have to turn this whole thing, which isn't the correct way. So that's kind of a bummer to me, uh, but not, you know, a killer for me. So I do really like him and I think he looks pretty good. I mean, his legs. So one thing when we do all these with capes and stuff, it's so hard for me to see their feet. He's not going to stand, is he? I should have pulled out his stand as well. Yeah, I don't know about that guitar. I don't know. I might just give this guy some guns from the ammunition pack. And I know that's not correct, but he don't want to stand. There we go. So there he is. There's Duke Thomas. You can see the height next to the Batman as well. He's a little bit taller. Um, I do really like this one more than this figure. But again, that axe is kind of a miss for me. But it's all good. What do you think of him? I don't like him. You don't like him? No. Oh, well, okay. Debbie Downer today. <laughs> all right. So next thing we have. And we got another page puncher. So we are going to find out right here, right now, if the comic is the same. It is. Okay, well, we'll find out. So, we have Constantine, and this is the one I was super, super excited for. Um, really had to get this one, just because I don't have a Constantine in my collection. And it is Constantine from the comics, which is really cool. Now, the wife would like it to be what? Well, Keanu. Duh. Keanu Constantine. And if you have not seen the Encot Bat Constantine movie, you're missing out. It is fantastic. Amazing. I love it. So, I wish they would bring him back. But he, what's nice about this guy is he actually comes with a bunch of accessories. You know, this Batman just comes with the Batarang. This Constantine has his little effect piece and he's got the book. So Does I'm he smoke excited. like he does? In the comics? Uh -huh. I, he did, but I don't remember if DC has now taken out that is cigarettes well. or whatever. Yeah, because, you know, no guns, no this. They can't even sell cigarettes for toys anymore because... Oh, that's terrible, but, you know, whatever. So, let's find out. Again, I did find all of these at Walmart. I got these off Amazon, but we did find them all at Walmart this weekend, so definitely check your Walmarts. Here is Constantine. So, box is exactly the same. Card and comic. So, let's find out. So, if it's not the same comic, you owe me... 20 doll hairs. Does that work? Yep. Okay. And if it is the same comic, you still owe me 20 doll hairs. So here's the comic. Exact Covers the same. same. Back's the same. First page. I believe is the same. It's the same. Boom. So, with these page punchers, you are going to get the exact same comic. So, kind of a bummer. I think they really should have done, like, Black Adam has, you know, the number one. And then Batman 2, Superman 3, Constantine 4 would have been really cool. So that you actually had motivation to collect them all so you could read the actual full comic. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess it is kind of a bummer though because it's like who needs four copies of this comic and the other thing too is like why didn't you just do a variant cover that would have been i get that if it's the same comic but you did a variant cover the only difference is going to be the card um they should have had constantine as one cover and batman as another cover and superman as another cover and then the black adam cover it would have been made it much better and i think a lot of people probably would have bought all of these more now i'm sure a lot of you are gonna buy all these but like for me i yeah i won't be getting the other two kind of a bummer so there is the comic and there's the stand same exact stand and here is constantine in his packaging so again like i said he actually comes with accessories which is really cool so let's pop this guy open i'm really excited i've seen people already pop him open and i've seen pictures of him and it looks good so he does come with his spell book, I guess, is what it would be. Um, the only thing that's a bummer is there is nothing on the inside. So it's invisible. Only he can read it. Yeah, it's uh, invisible ink. What do you use for invisible ink? 
Urine. Urine. <laughs> yes. Okay. So there's the invisible ink. And this piece, I really like this piece. This is really cool. So first of all, the hand is stuck. Hold on. Oh. The hand is stuck, which is really cool. And then, geez, I should have just handed it to you. Yeah. And then you have the back side, which, well, the front side, I guess, which is super cool. So you definitely get like an alternate hand, which is nice with that. Um, I guess some people would probably not be okay that the effect piece is stuck with the hand, but I actually like it. I think it's pretty cool. And you know, just some accessories goes a long way. So these guys, oh, man, you're just knocking stuff over. Oh, shoot. Just knocking stuff over. Boom do this because I think I'll be able to get Constantine to stand. I say that and he won't stand. You could take Constantine stand. All right, so here is. Yeah, he looks really good. Honestly. Okay, let me just straighten out these legs. Here is John Constantine. So I like it. I think it looks great. Now I know a lot of people will say I believe Mezco is coming out with one. Um, which looks really, really good. But, you know, for $20, this is fantastic to me. I think it looks just like him in the comics. And I really like it. I really like the little details they have. You know, the ripped pants is great. I mean, he doesn't have much of a costume because it's just his coat and his, you know, tie and everything. But what I like is that the coat is open. That is fantastic. That's what they should have done with Hush. I do wish you could take this whole thing off. Now, it is stuck here. You could take it off. But again... The arms are part of the coat, so it just looks funny if you do take it off. But I do really like him. There's his side. Again, his costume is nothing crazy. It's just, you know, his street clothes. But I think they did a really good job making it, um, you know, a little minimalistic that it does actually look like Constantine. And I'm pretty stoked for it. Now, some cigarettes would have been great and maybe some other accessories. But this is pretty solid to me. So... Um, his knee, what is kind of funny though, is like when you look at this right here, that kind of looks like his knee, right? But then you bend it and it's like, that's his thigh actually. Mm -hmm. So his legs are kind of weird with that. Um, he does have the bend in the toe. These knees bend very well. No thighs swivel. He does have a pretty decent ab crunch. Um, and he actually has the bicep swivel as well, which is super nice. And then these bend... I mean, pretty much your standard pegs. The wrist joints are the same joints as most McFarlane's. And his head moves very well as well. You're kind of stuck with the coat, but that's okay. Um, I do like that they made the tie movable, which is nice. So you could bend it over this way or whatever. I wish the whole thing would move, but that's okay. Um, and then hand-wise, you have this hand, like he's kind of holding something. And this hand, I guess, is pretty much almost the same... They're pretty close to the same hand, so you don't get any fist hands, but that's okay because, you know, Constantine, I don't know. It's okay. It's fine with me. So, let's see what we got here. So, this is his, what, his right hand? So, the only thing with this being stuck on there, you are forced to use it as his right hand. Um, so, I guess he's right-handed. Duke Thomas is left-handed. So, interesting. It stays on pretty well i'm pretty surprised and let's have him hold the book yes look at that <clears throat> i like it i think it looks really good i wish there was more detail in the book i wish there was some like stuff written down but i guess you could write whatever you want on there the effect piece is pretty cool he stands really nice, and I think the face sculpt is fantastic, honestly. I think it looks really, really good. Now, yes, a Keanu Reeves one would have been better, like you said, but it looks really good. Um, Height-wise, compared to the other two, he is about the same height as Batman. Duke Thomas is just a little bit bigger because of his helmet, but I'm really digging this Constantine. I'm really happy they decided to do one. I love the effect, and I really like the book as well. It's just nice to get some accessories. Um... So there you go. So again, only thing, I guess, my biggest complaint with these um, page, page crunchers. crunchers, yeah, thank you, um, is that the comic is exactly the same. At least do a variant cover or do different comic or something like that. But 
he is really cool and I think Constantine right now is definitely my favorite out of these three so but we saved the best for last didn't we we're almost done we're almost done walked into Walmart today not one not two but three gold label parallax were there super awesome grab some from my buddies um and i'm pretty stoked this looks really really good in person now they announced this a couple weeks ago and it never went up on pre-order on walmart so i know a lot of people are trying to find it and i've seen a lot of people find it just got lucky today went in and bam there he was so really cool what i really like about this figure first of all the back of the box is fire that is so cool i really really like the back i like the accessories this guy comes with and i think he looks really really good so we're gonna open this so this is from emerald twilight so he's from twilight <laughs> as well so we have edward and jacob i guess right oh my god oh my god okay so yeah sorry guys um but so super cool i'm pretty excited this is gold label and this is only available at walmart now Will they put it up for pre-order? I bet they will because they just decided to put up the gold label Wonder Woman and the Death of the Family Joker, which are sitting all over at my Walmart. So, um, but those are up for pre-order now, so you guys can go grab them. So I bet this will be as well, but it is not yet. So we got lucky. Boom. Oh, yeah. See, and I really like what they did with the card there. They used the same picture, but they did zoom in, and mm -hmm. it actually looks really, really cool. So I'm super stoked. Uh, this figure is really cool, first of all. Just looking at it, I really, really like it. And I'm not a huge Green Lantern fan, but this looks really cool. So, let's check out these effects. Okay. It's funny that he, like, gives the Lantern so many effects, which is great. But then gives like that red hood those stupid red effects like what is that so there's one effect this will go on his fist um they've done a couple of these before with the other lanterns i actually like these the color on these i, I do like as well it's more of that you know light green yellow than the darker green like uh hal jordan's which obviously is, he's a different color um the second one so you pretty much get the same effect twice uh, they'll both just go in his hands, so I kind of wish we would have got a different effect, but that's okay. This is my favorite effect, though. The actual lantern, and I think he could have done better with it, but I'm okay with it. I'm. It's kind of interesting that there's no... Oh, I guess the symbol's on the top. Okay, so the symbol is on the top, but there is the lantern that comes with it. Pretty decent size, which I do like. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. So let's pop him open. And McFarlane has been putting more and more ties on these figures. No, I didn't get this arm. Okay. Let's pop him out. Boom. He just feels nice. I know that's kind of weird. The only thing I wish, actually, which should have done this, is he should have came with a flight stand. Because he would have looked really good with a flight stand. So I may just have to steal one of my other flight stands from somebody. But, yeah, his face is okay. But here he is. So, I like it. I really, really like it. It's super awesome. The texture on him feels really nice. I don't know what it is. It just feels totally different. I love his hands being that translucent. I think that is one of the best features on this figure that I know a lot of people want some regular hands as well, but the translucent hands are awesome. His costume looks nice. I'm really digging this flat green all over and then this because then that makes these pop a ton. The face sculpt is okay. I do see, I did see somebody put a Hal Jordan head on here and it looked fantastic, which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, but overall, his costume is really nice. I really like the details. Again, the flat green is just super cool. Um, the cape, it feels a lot thinner than the capes oh, yeah. that we have here, which is super nice. Um, and then there is the back of him as well. So he does come with a fist hand. 
And then this hand is open so he can hold the lantern, which is cool. I do wish they would have, well, there goes Constantine. I do wish they would have given him more alternate stuff, but it's okay. Um, if you really wanted to, you probably could pop this whole piece off and just have the black around, but I really like the shoulder pieces. As far as that's what I was worried about. So those shoulder pieces are going to restrict your arm movement there. Now you can go up, but then that shoulder piece is just going to bend. Um, he does have the bicep swivel as well. Nice bend there. Joints are good. <clears throat> His head's not restricted. That thing will go all the way around. Um, these knees are pretty tight as well, but he's got very good mobility, which is awesome. Um, and he has a really good ab crunch, which is really nice. He's, you can get him in some really good poses. And this is why I think he should have came with a flight stand. I think he is definitely someone that you want in flight and the toes do bend as well. So I really like him. I think he's pretty cool. We are going to put the effects on real quick. And then I'm honestly might pop this head off and see what we can do, but I might break it. So let's. So, kind of interesting because you think they would give you two fist hands for these then. So, there's how it looks in the fist hand. And these effects are not amazing to me. I'm not a huge fan of these. I don't even know if I will have him with those. But I do really like the actual lantern. Which is cool. That's what I thought was going to happen. When you put his arm down, they just kind of fall off of the fist. Because they're just made to kind of just sit, uh, sit on there. So there he is with the lantern. Oh, God. He's a lot heavier now. And the fist effect. And it almost looks like he's going to tip over. But we are going to try something because I'm curious. All right, so we have the Hal Jordan from the two-pack, and I'm not a fan of this figure at all. You can see how loose my arm is here, and I hate this jetpack thing, but the head sculpt's okay. Now we're going to see... Okay, cool. So I popped his head off. I do want to see how this guy... Oh, that's Different, nice. right? No, it's the same. The peg is stuck in his head. So uh, it's it's fine, but now I can't do an easy swap. Um, and actually, it might be the same. It might not be, but I can't do an easy swap because I have to pull that out. But there he is with no neck. So you can see, if he did have the peg head on there, obviously his mask does not match. So, yeah. but he kind of looks kind of funny like that, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Stocky. Um, again, that's because the whole peg is in there. I just have to pull it out and put it back in, but I don't have my tweezers up here, so we can't do it. So I kind of gave you guys a preview. The head does come on and off pretty easily, which is nice. Um, but so there it is. We tried to do Hal Jordan, and we kind of failed but that is okay stay okay and you can see oh my goodness of course now i can't get this back on We're done with Hal Jordan. I, hate, I, I can't stand that figure. That one just drives me nuts. Um, so there you go. So there is all four of these. The two page punchers, the gold label, and Duke Thomas. So honestly, I really, really like this guy. And I really, really like Constantine. I think these two are fantastic. Duke Thomas is really good as well. Again, the guitar. I probably won't even display him with the guitar. I might just give him some guns, honestly. And this Batman's okay. Again, comic books disappointing to me i think um you know i have a ton of comics i love comics give me some variant covers that's kind of a bummer uh especially because then you're just gonna have four of the same cards are different but the cards are not that great to me either i wish they would have had a different cover on the cards too so but accessories with constantine are fantastic and i do really like all this so you guys will have to let me know are you getting all the page punchers what do you think are you what about duke thomas i really like it and gold label 
really awesome. I can't even remember his name. What is his name? Parallax. Parallax. I always want to say Phallax, but um, <laughs> Parallax. So really cool. So again, Walmart. Uh, I have not seen him in person yet. This was off of Amazon. This was Walmart and Walmart. I obviously got both of these off Amazon, but we have seen them at Walmart. So, and then Tanjiro is at Target. So really cool. So again, check your targets, check your Walmarts. There's new stuff popping out. There's still a ton of stuff on clearance you guys can get. And I'm really super excited for more stuff. I'm, mm, we have no more room, but I'm super excited, you know? So um, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. I don't know what we'll do this week. We'll see. We'll have to do something. And Check out uh, Holland Toy Flicks on YouTube. I'll put his link in the description below as well. Uh, chat and unboxing episodes every week. So really cool there. And let me know what you guys think about San Diego Comic Con. What's your favorite thing you saw? Honestly, for me, I'm really excited for the retro Scorpion Marvel Legends Spider-Man. I think that looks really, really cool. I did pre-order that guy. Uh, we did pre-order the Spider-Man cell, cell Shaded shelf-shaded, one of those, whatever the heck it's called, and the lizard from the animated series. Really, really super stoked about those. Um, so that's cool. A lot of TMNT stuff as well, but we'll see. So, Oh, oh, one more thing. Thank you again. I want to do a shout out to MMPR Fan 94, Mr. Mark McNeil. It was his birthday last Friday, I believe. Sorry, Mark, if that's wrong, um, but he just had a birthday. So happy birthday to you, Dude is amazing. I love him. Go check out his YouTube channel. It, it will be in the link of my description below as well. Um, he does a lot of Power Rangers stuff and actually just opened the Red Ninjetti, which I don't have the Red Ninjetti, and it looked fantastic. Face sculpt, everything. So shout out to you, Mark. Happy late birthday again. And that's it, guys. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Keep hunting. Keep grinding. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.